Welcome to another video tutorial from WaveBid. This video is a tutorial on best practices you can use when photographing barcodes. WaveBid uses a patent pending technology to scan each image as it's uploaded into the system. When it reads a barcode, it automatically associates the photos for that lot with the correct lot number. This completely eliminates photo renaming. Now you can take more photos of every item without spending countless hours processing images. The better the photo of the barcode, the more likely WaveBid will read it correctly. In this video, we'll cover best practices to improve your odds of correctly photographing readable barcodes. This takes practice and patience, so don't get frustrated if, at first, not all your barcodes are read into the system. Let's get started. The larger the barcode appears in the photo, the more likely the system is to read it. Get as much of the barcode in the photo as you can, while still keeping it in focus. This will also help identify the lot number in the event the system didn't read the barcode. Photos of barcodes are never exported to your online bidding platform. They're just used within WaveBid. Your buyers will never see close-up photos of barcodes when viewing your online auctions. The key to a clear close-up photo is the macro setting on your camera. Make sure the macro mode is enabled when you're using your camera. Most digital cameras have a macro setting that can be turned on or off. It generally appears as a small flower. The macro mode will allow your camera to stay focused as you get closer to objects. If your camera is having a hard time focusing on the barcode, check to make sure the macro setting is on. I leave my camera in macro mode for all my auction photos regardless of the distance. The next step is to make sure the barcode is both in focus and sharp. This is both obvious and important. The WaveBid processor needs clear black and white lines to read the barcode. Make sure the shot is in focus and the camera is stable. Don't worry, if you take a blurry photo, don't stop to delete it in the camera. The production tools in WaveBid make deleting photos fast and easy. The best way to keep the camera stable during these zoomed in barcode photos is to use a tripod. I recommend a tripod for all auction photography. Tripods take some getting used to, but they can really improve your shots. Remember, you don't need all three legs on the ground to take a good shot. It's perfectly okay to lean the tripod, or even balance the tripod. Having two legs on the ground goes a long way to keeping your images in focus. Make sure the barcode is flat when you photograph it. Barcodes on round objects, or when placed around corners, will be difficult to read. Try to shoot the barcode head-on keeping the camera parallel to the barcode itself. Avoid angles when shooting, both side to side and top to bottom. Make sure there's white space around the entire barcode. Bleeding is a big problem at the top and the bottom. Without a white border, it's difficult to read the individual lines in the barcode. Don't use a flash on your camera. Using the flash can cause a shadow, or a glare on the barcode. Using the tripod should eliminate your need for a flash. So to review, make sure to use the macro setting on your camera. Make sure the barcode is in focus. Always use a tripod. Get as close to the barcode image as you can while still in focus. Make sure the barcode is flat. Make sure there's a white border all the way around the barcode and avoid using the flash. When you follow these helpful steps, more of your barcodes will be correctly identified by WaveBid. This will save you even more time. Thank you for watching this video. If you still have questions or would like more information about WaveBid, please visit us online at www.wavebid.com. Have a great day.